This is the Mini GS. It's one of the cheapest and most popular paintball guns. So what does it look like to play a tournament with the cheapest paintball gun? I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons of using this paintball gun, and at the end of the video, tell you what I think about the paintball gun and what it's like to use it in a paintball tournament. So I went out to paintball fit on a cold and rainy day to play in the Champions League tournament to put this gun to the true test. And to start off the tournament, we had match number one against the Bricktown Bucks. We came out slow in the first point and lost it. So the next match, it was time to turn up the intensity and try to bring it back. point worked out perfectly but unfortunately nothing else seemed to go that way and we ended up losing the match one to three against the Bricktown Bucks. The match did not go as planned but the gun was not the issue. So what are the pros of using an entry-level marker like this mini GS? These paintball guns are made to get into the hands of new players looking to get onto the tournament scene. Markers like Empire's mini GS, X 2.0, Dyes Rise CZR, and also Planet Eclipse Ethos 2 and 3 are all entry-level markers from reputable companies. They are electronic, which allows you to customize the gun and change firing modes, which you could put it into something like NXL Ramping, which is the standard tournament mode for X-Ball. All these markers come with the basics, which is a barrel, spare parts kits, Allen keys, a barrel cover, and also a manual. Also, all these markers are autococker threaded, so if you want to upgrade barrels, you can do that to increase the accuracy and efficiency. And all this leading to the biggest pro being that you can start playing paintball tournaments. And saying that, I want to know from you, what was the first paintball gun you ever used in a tournament? And if you've never played a tournament before, what paintball gun would you like to use in your first tournament? For me personally, the first gun I used in a tournament was a Die DSR at a CFOA 5 man in 2018. And saying that, let's get on to match number two where we got paired up against Houston Zone. The first point, as you can see, was not ideal, and it was time to see if I could redeem myself in point number two. It didn't go as I planned it to. And now being down two to zero, our backs were against the walls and we just had to push it to see if we could bring this match back. We could not get anything going, so we ended up losing to Houston Zone 0-4. to four. It was not an ideal match, and let's talk about the less ideal parts of using an entry-level marker like this Mini GS. But before we get on that, if you're enjoying this video, consider giving it a like. It is an easy and free way to support myself 
and show me that you don't hate the videos. So the cons, with this being an entry level marker, this is the bare minimum and the lowest standard for paintball tournament guns. These markers have a less refined shot, so any other higher end markers are gonna feel better when you're shooting them. With the marker being more affordable, they do have to cut corners somewhere, so the feel of the gun in your hands and the materials that it's made out of are not always the most ideal. These paintball guns are not the best when it comes to air efficiency. They also can be hard to access and clean, so getting to things like the board, the bolt, and the eyes do require tools. There's also an absence of screens and buttons, so if you want to change anything electronically with a marker like firing modes, you're either going to have to use the manual or just remember it. And the biggest con is you will want to upgrade. These markers are not meant to be your forever paintball gun. They're made to get you started. So you'll be looking for another marker to upgrade to as you go down the rabbit hole that is tournament paintball. And when that time comes, you can go to lonewolfpaintball.com to upgrade that paintball gun. Lone Wolf is one of the world's biggest suppliers when it comes to paintball gear. They have over a hundred brand new paintball guns to choose from. So if you are someone who's just starting out paintball and want to get an entry level marker like this mini GS, or if you're looking to upgrade from that to something even better, you can get it there. The even better part is I have a discount code over there. So if you want to save 10% on select products at checkout, you can put in the code GYMRAT. Lone Wolf has been in the business for over 20 years and it carries anything and everything that you will need as a paintball player. Joe, Tony, and the rest of the Lone Wolf guys are huge supporters of paintball and the industry, and they are the reason why these videos are possible. So if you are looking for new paintball gear and want to support myself and the channel, go ahead and shop at lonewolfpaintball.com and use that code GYMRAT at checkout. Now we're on to my third and last prelim match, and it was against the Beefy Boys. And these boys were definitely beefy. And with us coming in 0-2 on the day, our backs were against the wall, and this was a must win. Starting off strong, we won point number one, but with a name like the Beefy Boys, these guys are not gonna go down easily, and they ended up winning point number two, tying the match. But with this being the last prelim match, I couldn't let it go that easily. We managed to win point number three and take the lead, but the beefy boys were like Arby's and had the meats and we couldn't match them. The Baconator boys managed to win the next three points and we lost our third match two to four. So what's my honest opinion about the Benny GS? I don't think this is a bad paintball gun. Never at any point in the tournament did I think I lost because I was using this gun. With the gun being in tournament mode, it did everything I needed from a paintball gun. And with it being 40 degrees and raining all day, I did not have an issue shooting paint at all. But it wasn't all perfect. The gun is small. It's got a very tight feel in my hands, which I'm not a fan of. Also, the air efficiency isn't the greatest. I believe I can probably get six pods and a loader out of this gun, and I have a 77 CI tank. So it's not easy to access the internals. So at any time, if I had an issue with the eyes or the bolt and had to access them, I would need tools to do so. Lastly, the feel and sound of the shot when I was shooting it was not as refined as other markers, so I was not a fan of that. To wrap it all up, entry-level paintball guns like this Mini GS are great affordable ways for new players to get started playing tournaments, but you're going to look to upgrade once you get bit by that paintball bug. <laughs> 